On December 13, 2013, Texas Judge Dib Waldrop ordered Church of Scientology leader David Miscavige to submit to a deposition in a lawsuit filed against him and two church entities by Monique Rathbun, wife of high-profile church critic Marty Rathbun. The ruling was a blow to Scientology's legal team, which had tried to keep Miscavige distanced from the contentious action. Miscavige has testified in only a handful of cases during his 27 years as the church's leader. From the start, church lawyers argued he should be dismissed as a defendant. They also vigorously opposed the effort to depose him. Despite best efforts two days ago during four hours of argument by his blue chip local legal team, Miscavige apparently will be coming to Texas for a deposition in the high profile case. I can't emphasize enough how opposed we are to having Mr. Miscavige sit for a deposition in this case, Miscavige lawyer Lamont Jefferson told District Judge Dip Waldrop. But in declining to reconsider his December order that Miscavige be deposed to determine the court's jurisdiction, Judge Waldrop appeared to be even more convinced there are sufficient grounds to make him testify about his contacts to Texas and to the Rathbun case. As I said in December, I think there is enough and I've not been persuaded to the contrary. Actually, I think there is potentially more now, Waldrop said at the close of the hearing. Furthermore, in ruling that the church leader come to be deposed, Waldrop said he might have to preside over the sure-to-be contentious legal exercise. It sounds like it might have to be done right here in the courtroom so I can rule on the objections, he said. Afterward, Tony Ortega had an opportunity to interview Ray Jeffrey, Monique Rathbun's attorney. He ordered us to confer about the document production and confer about the deposition, Ray said. Of course, they're almost certainly going to attempt some kind of appellate remedy, what's called a writ of mandamus. Now that Judge Waldrop seems more determined than ever that Monique Rathbun has the right to depose Ms. Gavage, Jeffrey says it's becoming obvious that Scientology's legal team is going to try and go over Waldrop to get Miscavige out of testifying. A conspicuous addition to Scientology's legal team was the arrival of Wallace Jefferson, who only recently stepped down from his position as the Chief Justice of the Texas Supreme Court. At the last two court hearings, Wallace has been seen taking notes as his brother, Lamont, has represented Miscavige and argued for hours on Wednesday in a vain effort to convince Judge Waldrop that Miscavige shouldn't be deposed. Jeffrey thinks Wallace Jefferson was brought in to prepare appeals, and he expects that Scientology's legal team will soon be going to a state appeals court or the state Supreme Court asking for permission to file for a writ of mandamus. Clearly, this is not the end of the story. For comprehensive coverage, I recommend that you follow Tony Ortega's Underground Bunker, Joe Childs in the Tampa Bay Times, and John McCormick of the San Antonio Express. And of course, I'll be on hand to document everything with video and photos.